Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to be sharing a mailbox DIY that I created using wooden slabs. These are the same wooden beams that I use to create this planter, these two planters, and this house number sign. So I wanted to create something for my mailbox. I wanted to create a mailbox to match with all of these pieces. They're all in the front of the house and I needed something to go along with it. I had this old mailbox that has been on the house since we've lived here which is of several years now and it was there when we got here and just to make everything go together and be nice and cohesive I decided to do this mailbox project so if you want to see how I put this mailbox together then please keep watching so the first thing I did was to go about cutting up the pieces I created some templates using paper cut down the sizes that I thought would be best based on some pictures that I saw online. I took my own measurements of my current mailbox and then did a little mixture of design styles that I saw on the internet. And I came up with this and I'm just trying out the pieces, cutting down the sizes that I need. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I'm doing that. the miter saw I did leave some of the pieces uneven so here I'm just showing how I, I did a measurement to see the thinnest piece of the board and then I went across to the other side and anything that was above that line was going to get cut down I'm using my jigsaw to cut it down to make everything smooth and next I assembled the box together using my nail gun and some wood glue
and I did want to mention that this project would be much easier if you use just big pieces of wood. I'm using beams and I'm combining them so that they can be the sizes that I need and I wanted to use it up and like I said I wanted everything to just go together and I wanted it to match. So if you get boards cut down then of course you would not have to measure out all these little pieces and then combine them together. But if you're interested in making something like this, I am including exact dimensions in my blog, which I will link in the description box. And I will also leave it at the bottom of the screen. Feel free to check out that blog post, which gives you all the dimensions of each piece that I used. Oh, and, the, and of course I had to stain it to match the other pieces as well. So I'm using this Jacobean stain. the hinges so I got these two hinges from Home Depot I'm using a little bit of this Loctite glue to keep everything secure these screws are pretty short because of course the wood isn't as thick as it could be to hold anything stronger so just to reinforce that I'm using this Loctite glue in all the places where I'm adding the screws and anywhere the hardware is attached to the wood next thing I did was to add the little hooks in the back where it would hang on the side of the house and I originally was just gonna use screws to screw this directly into the house but I'm actually gonna do a little bit different so I ended up moving these little brackets up a little bit higher so it can account for these siding hooks that I have and these are the perfect thing to use if you want to hang anything from the side of your house because these little pieces hook straight up into the siding and it holds really really well you kind of have to push up and down in order to get these out once they're in they're very secure and I'm using these for the mailbox and so far it's been holding up very well and it, this is how it's looking and I'm have I placed it here on the house using the hooks again and if I have a link for these hooks I will leave it below as well because if you have a house and you like hanging anything on it these are the 
hooks to get. They are so good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Please subscribe if you like these types of videos, any kind of DIY projecty type things. That's what I do here. So I hope that you will subscribe and visit often. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.